assalamu alaikum so this is a second video of our spine examination we have first uploaded the video for lumbar disc herniation ankylosing spondylitis quad equina syndrome now we are going to discuss today scoliosis examination what examiner wants in scoliosis examination first of all if you haven't subscribed the channel you can press the bell icon button and subscribe to it in <coughs> surviving orthopedics i have given the examination of scoliosis in key points and tabulated form you just need to know the points that this 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 i have to perform what examiner wants in scoliosis examination that is there a, what type of this scoliosis is adolescent uh, in was it infantile juvenile so at history you have taken whole of the history and you have a clue about the differential this case comes in the exam as a long case not as a short case so you have performed the history you don't need to perform the running commentary just you have to note your findings but while performing the acts you have to do it in the way that examiner must listen it so in scoliosis like all the examination of hip and spine we will start it by asking the patient to stand beta sabse pehle khade ho jaye we have taken the consent we assume that we have taken the history so first of all you will examine him from the front so as you can see there is you will start from the is is any a facial asymmetry shoulder asymmetry shoulder is asymmetrical and then you will see at the both the arms hanging by the side there is increased arm trunk distance on one side on the left side compared to the right side there is obvious hump at the uh, left side then you will see both the anterior spiralis spine dono tange bilkul saath kar aise and you will see any ideally you must have exposed the lower limbs as well any wasting any asymmetry then you will ask the patient to look uh, from uh, at the uh, so that you can see at the side of the patient bas beta aise aise so again symmetry of the cervical spine hip posture flexion or extension knee posture and lateral border of foot touching the ground then you will ask him to look at the front now you can see there is shoulder asymmetrical there is apex of the deformity is on the right side do not say concave or convex while narrating the examination if you are confident enough you can do it but if not then apex of deformity is at the right side or the left it will help you then anterior spiralis spine levels again the muscle poplitealness uh, uh, fullness of popliteal fossa both the heel is in physiological valgus you have inspected now you next step is ask him to uh, walk or we can perform the measurements i would prefer uh, preferably ask him to walk and first of all jaldi se chale samne aur wapas aa jao wapas aa jao wapas aa jao then i'll ask him to walk on a straight line beta is line ke upar chalna seedhe seedhe chalo shabash 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 wapas aa jao so he can walk on the straight line as well now gate inspection gate sit and squat niche baith ke uth sakte ho नीचे बैठ के उठो शाबाश बैठ जाओ पूरा बैठो पूरा शाबाश उठ जाओ उठ जाओ एबल टू सिट एंड स्क्वायर स्टैंड ऑन हील्स एंड टोस उंगलियों पे खड़े हो सकते हो खड़े हो जाओ शाबाश अपनी एड़ी पे खड़े हो जाओ एड़ी पे ऐसे ही कैन ही इज एबल टू स्टैंड ऑन टोस एंड हील्स सो वी आर स्क्रीनिंग माओटोम्स एज वेल एज आई प्रीवियसली टोल्ड इन माई वीडियो वी हैव वेन वी आर सिट एंड स्क्वाड we have screened knee joint hip joint we have screened hip flexor l2 knee extensor l3 then dorsiflexion and plantar flexion of the foot we have screened l4 and s1 l5 is with extensor l which is longer so we spine is involved we have to check the dermatomes myotomes the level appears to be at thoraco lumbar so we will stick to thoraco lumbar but if the time permits you can go for cervical as well i'll tell you uh, um, Uh, in the next few minutes so we have done inspection gate gate on the straight line sit and squat toes heels you can perform the romberg test as well if you suspect anything that is more involved towards neurology you will ask him beta seedhe khade rahe hath ek aise rakh le dusra hath aise rakh le there are different ways to perform the romberg test aankhe band kar le aur seedhe khade rehna so while he is standing you will have to support him if he falls so rumble sign is negative if it is positive he will sway to one side or to other side so you will support him bas aankhe kholne shabash 
सो नाउ द मैयमेंट्स द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप दैट एग्जामिनर लव्स टू सी यू परफॉर्मिंग इट बेटा इधर सामने देखो सामने फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल परफॉर्म द प्लम लाइन सो दिस प्लम लाइन टेस्ट एग्जामिनर वॉन्ट्स टू सी इट एंड यू मस्ट परफॉर्म सो यू आर परफॉर्मिंग इट keeping it at the most prominent part and seeing and say that it is not falling at the natal cleft deviating towards the left side the apex of deformity is on the right side so if it would have been kyphosis then sometimes i have to perform the plumb line test on the lateral aspect from the uh, tragus and falling down and uh, uh, the thora thoracic uh, thoracolumbar as you know that lumbar curve is in lordosis and thoracic kyphosis you can say if there would have been any kyphosis then i would have commented on this so you have performed the plumb line now the next step arm trunk distance any one point of the arm the medial epicondyle medial epicondyle and any one point from the trunk so you the next measurement is arm trunk distance first you can mark it and then you can perform it so this is medial epicondyle so the distance is only 3 cm but on this part you can see the distance is approximately 5 cm arm trunk distance we are done with this this is not actual case of scoliosis we have asked the patient to keep uh, himself in this posture due, because you know due to corona we are not having the real patients nowadays we are uploading so that candidates must learn something while at home so that's why the the other measurement plumb line arm trunk distance the other one is rib crest so you will see the rib the most prominent rib you will see and then you will see the iliac crest this is the most prominent point of the crest and this is the his lowest rib most prominent point you will see that the distance between you will mark it with a marker you have marked the crest this is the crest and this is the rib so you will uh, measure it and on this side as well rib crest and the lowest rib so there will be increased where the apex of deformity is so now till now we have measured plumb line arm trunk distance rib crest distance and then we are going to ask him for forward bending beta aage ko jhuk jao aage ko jhuk jao jhuk jao jhuk jao pura jhuk ja koi baat nahi pura jhuk ja ha do wo bhi hath niche le ja झुक जा कोई बात नहीं सीधा होता होने दो चले सो यू विल कमेंट ऑन द कर्व वेदर इट्स कुरेक्ट येस इफ इट इज नॉट द ट्रू कर्व देन इट विल कुरेक्ट नाउ यू विल कमेंट दैट ऑन एडम फॉरवर्ड बैंडिंग द कर्व कुरेक्ट सो बेटा सीधे हो जाए यू मे नॉट नीड टू परफॉर्म द शोबर टेस्ट or the wall test or other uh, test that we routinely perform so now we have performed the adam forward bending test and the curve corrects on adam forward bend you obviously in the exam the curve will not correct completely you will say that the curve if there are two curves you will say that the lower curve has corrected on uh, forward bending or you will say the curve size has decreased so there is another thing that examiner wants that candidate must know is the rib hump angle when you move forward aage juko so there is a hump and you place a scoliometer we don't have mostly scoliometer so if he asks you you haven't performed the rib hump angle you say i don't have scoliometer he say is there any other method yes there is a crude method by placing two goniometers but i would say do not perform and in the end you can say if he asks you have performed the rib hump, uh, hump angle you will say i didn't i didn't have the scoliometer the crude method or for, uh, a method that can give us a reading uh, is with the two goniometers and if you want to perform it placing two goniometers on the hump and on the uh, other aspect it will give you a guide so now we have performed it now i before asking him to sit i am going to screen his spine movements aage chuko we have already performed the forward flexion piche ko beta aise karna aise shabash samne dekho samne extension then i'll ask him beta aise aise karo yes us dusri side pe isko seedha rakhna shabash ab dusri side pe aise shabash so lateral flexion on the both side bas theek hai dono hath idhar rakh lo 
सो रोटेशन एट द थ्रेकोलम्बर स्पाइन वी विल चेक बेटा घूमो शाबाश इसको ऐसे ही रखना है चलो अब घूमो घूमो ठीक है सो आता आता सो नो आई हैव स्क्रीन द स्पाइन एज वेल नो आई आई लिम टू सेट बेटा बैठ जाओ नो आई स्टार्ट द पेल्पेशन सो इट्स बेटर टू गो एट द बैक एंड पेल्पेट फॉर टेम्परेचर टेंडरनेस एंड वाइल्ड डूइंग दिस यू विल लुक एट द फेस ऑफ द पेशेंट बिफोर डूइंग दिस यू विल ऑल्सो नीड टू कमेंट दैट द डिफॉर्मिटी डिक्रीज इज ऑन सिटिंग सो इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इफ द एग्जामिनर विल लाइक इट यू विल परफॉर्म टेम्परेचर सुपरफिशियल टेंडनेस कीप योर आईज एट द फेस ऑफ द पेशेंट डीप टेंडनेस एट द एपेक्स स्पाइनस प्रोसेस फेस एट ज्वाइंट यू मस्ट से एज देर इज नो रनिंग कमेटी यू मस्ट पेलपेट द एपेक्स ऑफ द डिफॉर्मिटी एंड ऑल द स्पाइनस प्रोसेस टिल द Uh, end of the spine so now we have performed temperature tenderness pulsation is important you will perform while the making the patient to lie supine so till now the next step is dermatomes and myotomes the most important step two steps are important one we have performed the measurement the gait the uh, uh, overall uh, knowledge about the overall information about the curve now the dermatomes and myotomes beta ye aapko ek jaisa mehsoos ho raha hai आंखें बंद कर लो नो यू विल कीप ऑन चेकिंग ऑल द डर्माटोम्स इफ इट इज़ अ थोड़ा लंबर स्पाइन यू विल परफॉर्म ओनली फ्रॉम टी फोर टू डाउनवर्ड बेटा एक जैसा महसूस हो रहा है टी फोर टी टेन एक जैसा महसूस हो रहा है ठीक है टी टेन एंड देन यू विल परफॉर्म द एक जैसा महसूस हो रहा है एल टू एक जैसा महसूस हो रहा है एल थ्री एट द मीडियल एस्पेक्ट एल फोर दिस वन एल फाइव कमिंग फ्रॉम द लेटरल बॉर्डर एंड ऑल दिस and the lateral border of the feet is s1 so remember l2 l3 at the anterior aspect of knee l4 at the medial aspect and l5 coming from this level and going up to medial border of the foot and s1 is the lateral border of the foot so these were the dermatomes so we have checked it now for the myotomes you can check few aankhe khol le you can check few myotomes ye upar ko zor lagaye zor lagaye shabash zor lagao zor lagao zor lagao So this is L2. This can be zor lagao L2. Now checking the sida karo, sida karo zor lagao L3. Sida karo zor lagao L3. We have checked L2, L3. Then we can ask the patient to lie supine. Sir, udhar karke late jo shabash. Late jo. Now what is left that I am going to perform is checking his L4 level. Upper karo zor lagao. एंकल डोसी फ्लेक्शन एंकल डोसी फ्लेक्शन देन द बिग टोस एल फाइव ऊपर को जोर लगाना है दोनों अंगूठों का बेटा ढीला छोड़ दो ढीला छोड़ ढीला छोड़ दो सिर्फ अंगूठा ऊपर उठाना है मेरे ऊपर जोर लगाओ जोर लगाओ जोर लगाओ शॉबस एल फाइव देन द एंकल डोसी फ्लेक्शन स्टेबिलाईजिंग द एंकल नीचे को जोर लगाओ इसको ढीला छोड़ दो नीचे को जोर लगाओ मेरे हाथ पे एस वन सो वी हैव परफॉर्म द माइडोम स्टिल एस वन Now the next step is pulsation. You can will perform femoral pulsation, and after pulsation, I would say you must perform the reflexes. In this special case, I would say that abdominal and cremasteric reflex. But for the dignity of the patient, we will perform the abdominal reflex. Now, how to perform the abdominal reflex? so the uh, there must be sharp edge while performing the abdominal reflex test you will a diamond shape four lines you will draw and you will check the movement of the umbilicus is it symmetrical or asymmetrical then you will perform the dila chhod de ankle reflex and it ideally it must be exposed you must be looking at the calf muscle holding it in dorsiflexion palpating the tendon and then freely falling and you can see that i have performed it then how to perform the l3 keeping it a, a hand under this or flexing both keeping one hand over this elevating it it will be free fall then palpating the where to strike and वही ढीला छोड़ दें जिसमें बिल्कुल ढीला छोड़ दें सो यू आर गोइंग टू ढीला छोड़ो ढीला गिरा दो गिरा दो गिरा दो मेरा हाथ सो यू आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म दिस टेस्ट सो आइडियल इट मस्ट बी एक्सपोज एंड यू विल एबल टू सी एंड ऑलवेज कंपेयर ढीला छोड़ दो बेटा ढीला छोड़ दो रिलैक्स 
रिलैक्स हो जाओ ढीला फुल छोड़ दो शॉब ऐसे ऐसे सो आइडियली यू विल बी एबल टू एलिसिट इफ द पेशेंट इज एक्सपोज सो वी हैव परफॉर्म द रिफ्लेक्स इज एज वेल नो देर आर फ्यू स्पेशल टेस्ट आर लेफ्ट एंड ऑल दो द स्कोलियोसिस एग्जामिनेशन इज कंप्लीट बट यू विल परफॉर्म सम स्पेशल टेस्ट लाइक एस एल आर इफ एस एल आर इज पॉजिटिव दैन लजीक एज आई हेट मैंशन वेयर द एस एल आर इज पॉजिटिव गो डाउन परफॉर्म द एंकल डोर से फ्लैक्शन बस ढीला छोड़ दो एंड देन एस एल आर थर्ड कॉम्पोनेंट बो स्ट्रिंग फ्लैक्सिंग द नी प्रेसिंग इन द पोपलिटल फोजा एंड सी इफ द पेन इज एक्सेसरबेटिंग सो नाउ द स्कोलियोसिस एग्जामिनेशन इज ओवरऑल कंप्लीट and we have performed the slr for additional purposes if you have time you can perform faber feder but it is not much relevant for scoliosis you must be able to see if there is any dermatome involved any myotome involved and where is the apex of the deformity what is the curve involving which segment thoraco lumbar any abnormality in gait romberg sign sit and squat toes heel and other things uh, as i have performed superficial reflex that as well so now the examination is complete i will briefly summarize in that beta thoda sa tang uthana shabash i will briefly summarize in the end that what you have to perform in scoliosis if the case is scoliosis don't worry just relax yourself start with the inspection comment look at the eyes any strabismus look at the face look at the shoulder symmetry from front look any uh other abnormality level of anterior superior spine posteriorly then you will see posteriorly curve curve apex kidder hai where the curve apex is and the curve uh, involving which segments anterior superior spine and all that after that gait gait on straight line sit and squat stand on toes and heels and then you will perform your measurements and the measurements are plumb line arm trunk distance and uh, then rib crest distance rib hump angle i would say no need to perform if the patient is old this was a case of 13 14 year the in the case is a patient is old scoliosis you may need to perform the trendelenburg test as well you can add it in it uh, in this uh, scheme as well if you want to although i have written in my book that trendelenburg test is among the six measurements that you need to perform and uh, after that screen the spine movements ask him to sit now temperature tenderness Uh, dermatome checking and then two myotomes asking him to lie supine completing your dermatome myotome and now going for the superficial reflex abdominal reflex and the now the other reflexes after that our examination is almost complete we will perform if any special test slr components of it faber feder if needed so this actually covers the whole examination you just need to perform how and where to perform all these special tests in the correct way so i personally feel that spine examination is relatively easy but candidates fail in this examination because they perform irrelevant things and they do not perform the thing that is needed point in uh, disc exam as i have mentioned point the site of the injury dermatome myotome in scoliosis point the curve single curve double curve the curve is correcting on adam forward bending test is it a true curve curve uh, symmetry apex of the curve arm trunk distance and all these measurement and in the end the reflexes and any dermatome myotome involvement so i hope this video will serve the purpose close it